Hello. So, I would love to start this vlog with something, you know, upbeat, but I don't have it in me. Um, it was like a beautiful day today and I got home from work and I walked to the park and I was planning to read for like, you know, 20 minutes until the sun went down, but I mostly just sat there and stared. Um, everything feels so pointless when, you know, people all over the world are dying and it feels like there's nothing you can do and like my work has been terrible lately um not that i'm doing terrible work although maybe you know like things have been going badly and it feels so ridiculous to be like so upset and stressed about something that doesn't fucking matter like none of this matters of course it's also a key part of this like to keep us all distracted and busy worrying about our own stuff because couldn't let us you know care about each other and so anyway all that to say if you have been struggling with feeling guilty about lack of focus on the things that matter or if you've been struggling to balance caring about things and also caring about your life uh, you're not alone. I don't have any answers for you. I don't have any advice for you at all, but just know that <laughs> you're definitely not alone. I feel so useless and ridiculous putting out regular content, but also like it gives me something to do and hopefully I'm, you know, reaching more people by doing it than by not doing it. So anyway <laughs> i'm gonna edit a video hopefully if it turned out okay and we are going to get started with uh, march looks funny <laughs> okay so it is um, a different day I don't think I filmed anything before today um, it is Saturday and it's 6 30 so I did have a whole list of things that I wanted to do today and I do still want to get to most of that but um, surprisingly I went to a play today um, a long story but basically an extra ticket uh, for a play was available and so I went to that and there was ASL interpretation and so I got to watch that and it was very very fun. So the things that I still want to do today, I want to do some French, do some Portuguese, and read My Brilliant Friend. I was going to try to finish My Brilliant Friend today but I don't think I'll have time now. Um, I definitely won't have time because it's already 6 30. So um, I do have some ice cream. I had a craving for ice cream yesterday. I think this is an Ohio only thing, um, but if you have the opportunity to try Grater's ice cream, I definitely recommend it. The black raspberry chip flavor is much better than the black cherry, but they didn't have that. This is the like um, non-dairy one. So anyway, I'm gonna eat some of this and read some uh, French and Portuguese. Um, I started I, want, I listened to a little bit more, uh, oh my god, what the hell is happening? I read a little bit more of The Hunger Games in French, I'm at 10%, and then I started it in Portuguese because I hadn't started it yet, and I'm only like 4%, 3% maybe. I just love Portuguese so much, like, the way that it sounds is just so good, so, you know, I've been trying to, like, you know, open my relationship with Spanish for like over a year now and add French and it's going not great. Like I'm not making zero progress, but I'm making like the smallest amount of non-zero progress that you can make. <laughs> now Portuguese has like danced onto the scene, you know, I went on a blind date with them, things went well. 
um, I really need to stop this metaphor. <laughs> but like, Brazilian Portuguese has a little something something. Hello. It is Friday at like, I don't know what time, late afternoon. Um, so I'm going to go to the library before it closes to spend a little while reading. I lately have been struggling so much to read at home because I fall asleep. Like every time I start trying to read at home, I just get so sleepy and I go to sleep instead. So we're going to go to the library because I, you know, you can't sleep at the library, um, but I don't. Yeah, I need to get some serious reading done. I don't need to, but I want to. Um, you know, I really want to get through some books because I'm not, I'm mostly just starting more books and never finishing, you know? So the library was a little bit of a flop, but just had my last Spanish class of the day. For some reason, something possessed me and I scheduled three classes for today. <laughs> And they were all fine. There was, you know, it wasn't, I don't find them that like taxing anymore. Um, I do still dread them a lot, like coming up to them, not like dread, but it just feels like a chore. But then almost always once I'm actually in the class, I have a fun time. So, so yeah, this, um, last one was really fun. So, um, I am so tired. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with me. There we go. I'm probably not too far away from falling asleep, which is ridiculous. It's 9 p.m., but I am going to try to read. I really, really want to finish some books. <laughs> I have these two books, so about 60% through this. I'm about 25 or 30% through Anada. And then I have my book club books that I'm reading, both in Spanish, and I'm reading The Hunger Games in French and Portuguese. But I really want to finish these two books this month. I've been really distracted and stressed and haven't been making a lot of time. So I haven't really talked about how I've been feeling speaking and stuff. Um, not great. <laughs> like... I, like I said, the classes are fun usually and I don't like get stressed or anything, but I have been thinking about it and I think that because I'm not as stressed, you know, I'm more comfortable speaking, I actually am making more mistakes because I'm being less like careful and also obviously we're talking about like more advanced things so like I'm supposed to be using more tenses and stuff that I'm not as familiar with, but yeah, I just feel like I make so many grammar mistakes, like it is appalling a little bit. <laughs> and I know that the answer is more input, but I am also struggling because, you know, I'm getting to that phase where I tell myself all the time, you know, there's no timeline to this, there's no, you know, deadline, you know, people learn at different paces, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is me telling myself this. I didn't realize that I was the only person signed up for my Spanish class, so I was very unprepared to talk for the entire class, um, and it was really great. She was wonderful. I've had her many times before, and I really like that teacher, so we mostly just chatted for the whole class time, and I was so bad. Like, my some of my worst Spanish speaking, bar none. But it was very nice. Um, she was very patient, but I think she was a little, like, I am so tired. I was already really tired and now I'm like, it doesn't help that I filmed two videos before that, so. <clears throat> so, I was, I was also literally gonna film some of that too because I was like, oh, I can just like film some of, you know, me in the class, obviously not filming the class, 
um, and like you can only hear me because I'm wearing headphones and then obviously I was the only one in the class so I was completely you know focused um, and did not do that but see <laughs> god I just I don't know what to do about my speaking like I really know I'm having an entire crisis right now about how bad my grammar is um we're gonna we're gonna think about this instead of having a crisis right now at 8 p.m on a monday evening uh when i am so tired we're not gonna we're not gonna engage in this crisis right now i say as i'm about to go get in the shower which is a great time to not have a crisis Hello. It is once again Friday. I have returned to the land of the living. I feel like this entire month has just been me vanishing off of the face of the earth for the entire week and then reappearing on the weekend like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> we did get some beautiful weather um, a couple of days ago, so hopefully there's some nice little tiny bit of footage there. I think it was just teaser spring because it's supposed to get really cold again next week so all of the flowers are gonna die and it's gonna be really really sad but for now it is cool but not miserable today and it has stopped raining so i think i am going to go to the library pick up a little snack on the way i think it's hilarious because every single i'm like i love the library you know it's like a a third place where you don't have to spend any money and you can go there and just spend time and blah 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 and like that is absolutely true love libraries 100 percent but i do um buy a snack almost every single time i go to the library so it doesn't actually end up being free for me <laughs> but that's uh that's my own personal um problem um it's probably loud let me close the window i think i just need to like be out of my house in order to um read otherwise i just fall asleep every single time I've never understood, you know, people that say that, that they can't read because they just fall asleep. Never had that problem until now, for some reason. I mean, I've also just been, like, having terrible sleep quality in general, so that's definitely part of it, but that's, you know, outside of our scope. I did get uh, Dreaming Spanish back for a month in order to listen at work. I've also been trying to get more into just the language learning community again, because, like, anytime I start feeling burnt out or like slumpy it always helps me to like talk to other language learners and stuff so i've been trying to make sure i keep up on everybody's videos i have been more in discords again so like i um joined the dreaming spanish discord i've been in the mini immersion discord more i just think that like community aspect of it can help obviously sometimes all you're doing is like distracting yourself from doing actual learning so that's not ideal but otherwise i think it can be really good and like inspirational so good morning still very sleepy it is sunday morning it is like 8 30. um I don't know where the weekend goes every single weekend. It's ridiculous. But um, I have to go somewhere at like 2 today. So I will not have my whole Sunday to rot um, as I am accustomed to. Yeah, we're going to try not to just waste a whole bunch of time endlessly um, scrolling today like I did yesterday. Um, I'm listening to this podcast called En Boca Cerrada. It is about a very famous case in Mexico where there was this um, famous music producer who was like essentially brainwashing and taking over the lives of the young girls that he was um, working with. It is appalling. I'm not very far into it yet, but very disturbing, um, and it's kind of interesting listening to things from other countries that you're not as, like, plugged into their media, obviously, or, like, the media of your country is not paying attention always, and also I was, like, a child, I think, when this <laughs> came out, but, um, yeah, it's like, this is not the story you've heard, or, like, 
the things that you've heard didn't tell the whole story or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I haven't really heard that much of anything. So go ahead. Just tell me, tell me the story. <laughs> I had two Bible classes yesterday that were much better than my previous ones. Like the classes were really pretty interesting. And then I didn't speak quite as badly, I think. Uh, still made some very silly mistakes, but like, you know, I didn't feel as bad about it, but it was really funny. I have done this multiple times where I think to myself, like, oh my god, why would they do that that way in Spanish? Or like, why are those two words so similar? And then after thinking about it for a second, it dawns on me that it's either the same in English or it's not any better in English. <laughs> like at one point in one of my classes, I accidentally said escultura, sculpture, or like a statue when I should have said a sculptora, a person who sculpts. And I was like, why would they do that? Like that is so similar. And then like, it literally took like an hour later for me to rethink about it and be like sculpture, sculptor, also very subtle difference in pronunciation. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna listen to my podcast and go to the store. <laughs> Hello, welcome. So, it is Thursday sometime, March 21st, I think. So yeah, overall this month, like, I do Spanish every day, like, there, it's completely a part of my life at this point, but I haven't felt like I've spent a ton of time um, compared to, like, the usual, you know? And part of that has been due to the stress, and part of it has just been, you know, a lot of kind of scrolling and doom scrolling and um so i do want to get back to more proactive not study but you know effort i will say my lessons have been getting better like i the past couple i haven't been making so many careless mistakes the past few times so i think it was just kind of a blip still my speaking is not anywhere near where i want it to be and i still hope that writing will help that but we're not quite at the like disaster designation level that we were at <laughs> the beginning of this month where I was feeling really, really, really discouraged. So, so this has been a very weird month. There have been a lot of strange things happening in my um, outside of YouTube language learning life, but hopefully that situation is um, rectifying itself and I can like, get my ish together once and for all, that's never gonna happen. I can get my ish together for a time. So we'll be starting the writing challenge in a few days. I do want to do some significant writing for that, so I'm going to try to finish some of the books that I'm reading in the next couple days, but I do need to edit this vlog if I ever want to actually upload it. So we're gonna do that. Um, oh, I did wanna mention, I this is super random, but I did just get access to the Refold language learning course in order to do a review of it. So if that is something that you have had any interest in, definitely leave comments um, with any questions that you have below and I will try to answer those in the review. So that will be coming in, you know, I don't know how long it'll take me. So anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.